Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and we are headed back to Bolivia to talk about more Ghost Recon Wildlands. And man, there is a ton to go over, including the fact that competitive multiplayer has been confirmed. And what about the online space? Is it going to be separated from single player? Then we've got tons of details about the upgrades, progression system, vehicle count, and much more. So guys, let's dive in. So yes, Ubisoft recently confirmed that competitive multiplayer is coming to Ghost Recon Wildlands. Unfortunately, they couldn't elaborate any further than that. But finally, we have confirmation. This was the news I was definitely looking for because uh, with the previous Ghost Recon games, I spent a ton of time in PvP. So it's about time we get some competitive multiplayer news like this. Now, the question is, will it be within the open world? Will it be on separate maps? Only time will tell, but at the very least, it seems like it's not going to be based off the RPG system that was the division. It's going to be based off pure shooting mechanics, which I think is good news. Uh, so that's going to be different from the division. If you were kind of disappointed with the PvP in the division, well, Ghost Recon could be a little bit more promising here. But let's dive into the other details right now. So about the single player and multiplayer, yes, players can seamlessly drop in and drop out, of course, in co-op. And all of your progress is going to be preserved whether you are playing single player or co-op. So it's going to be saved uh, whether you are going to continue by yourself in single player with three AI teammates or just go in with a friend or two or three in co-op. Now, if you do decide to go into co-op with a friend that doesn't mean you're going to have two ai teammates with you guys if you go into online no matter what they're going to get rid of the ai so just know that and thankfully the difficulty will scale to how many people are in your group and it seems like there will be difficulty settings now the demonstration they showed uh on e3 people noticed this looks way too casual this does not look like a lot of fun well it was designed to really be something that can be showcased to everyone hardcore and casual players so the difficulty was lowered but good news seems like they're going to have some more challenging difficulties in there for more of us hardcore players and by the way guess what you will not be tethered to the other co-op partners you can roam around freely in this world so if you just want to be goofing around on the high seas in a boat your friend could be skydiving off a mountain so it really doesn't matter where you are in the game world you are not tethered it is complete freedom and mentioning freedom, you're going to want to go exploring the entire game world because of the gunsmith. Yes, there is a connection there between the game world and the gunsmith. Now, the gunsmith is where you're going to go to really make your own weapon uh, and customize your weapon and gear. You can find new weapons and attachments scattered around all of the map, so you and your friends are going to definitely want to hunt for those. And there's going to be over 60 ways for you to get around the world of Bolivia in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Because yes, there are going to be over 60 vehicles in the game. To me, that is insane. I cannot wait to see what other vehicles we have in store for us. Because we've only seen uh, very few vehicles from the trailers. But I think the main ones are going to be the buggies, the dirt bikes, the helicopters. Uh, those are going to be awesome. And we have seen teases of airplanes in the distance now everyone in your squad is going to be given binoculars night vision and a drone and the drone is going to be your very best friend it's going to allow you to spot and mark enemies which is a very important thing to ghost recon wildlands and by the way no you won't be marking enemies or spotting territories or new objectives by climbing towers that is not going to be in ghost recon wildlands thankfully that's it been in every single like Ubisoft game ever, so it's great that it's not returning here. But that's not all the gadgets the ghosts have at their disposal. They will have mines, flares, and C4, and you can use these tools to create traps, ambushes, and all sorts of diversions. Now, this feature is really cool. It kind of reminds me of Hitman. Okay, so basically every NPC and every character in the game world of Ghost Recon Wildlands have their own fixed schedule. Because of this, you can actually follow this schedule. So for example, if you see a white man making supply runs and entering a well-guarded camp, you can go ahead and hijack this truck and drive right through the gates without anyone noticing and just slip in there and then use stealth to kill everyone. This is one element of Ghost Recon Wildlands I'm extremely excited about because it really will make playstyles very different. And I know that you guys have, again, seen 
uh, the gameplay from Ghost Recon Wildlands. It looks super casual, super easy. Ubisoft said that that was because the difficulty was on the lowest setting because they wanted people on the show floor at E3 to try it and to be able to get into it instantly. So there are going to be tougher difficulties, which I think previous Ghost Recon fans will uh, go for those tougher difficulties. Now, there is going to be some sort of leveling in Ghost Recon Wildlands, but Ubisoft has not revealed that, but it will include unlocking new items, drone upgrades, and even uh, upgrading your character stats. So it does sound like there's some sort of uh, RPG system under the hood. So it's obvious that gathering intelligence is extremely important in this game, especially when tracking high-value targets. You won't be able to just stumble on their location, though. You must find evidence and interrogate lower-level members of the cartel to discover where in the world they are. So there you guys have it, over 20 new details about Ghost Recon Wildlands. I have to admit, I am extremely curious about PvP again. I spent a ton of time in the previous Ghost Recon games in PvP with my bro Ryan. We had a total blast uh, just playing those games in PvP. So that's right now. I'm waiting for that news to drop. I don't know if it's going to be seamless in the open world or not. We shall wait and have to find out. But what would you guys like to see, though? I'm hoping that they do, you know, some open world PvP stuff, but I do hope they offer the more traditional PvP uh, style gameplay where you can go into a map, you can do matchmaking, and have a character that you can upgrade his weapons and stuff like that. I don't know if it should be a system that's shared with the co-op. I think that might need to be separate. But guys, stay tuned for those PvP details because when I have the competitive multiplayer details, I will definitely have a video up about it ASAP. Thanks guys so much for watching and soon we will be in Bolivia taking on the cartel. See you guys later.